In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul's. I would ask you, if you would, just for a minute, please open your hearts and open your ears to what I'm about to say. I would like to talk to you in a way that uh, is very personable. I would like to talk to you in a way that, that normally I don't. And I would like to appeal to you. And I, on my way to work today, thought about how I might say this in a way that won't make anyone feel guilty or make anyone feel bad. However, I feel it's very important that I speak to you today about something in our school that is very uh, concerning and is reaching, I think, almost an epidemic uh, level. I would like to talk to you, and please listen to me, about the language that we use to each other and the language we use in this school. St. Paul's Secondary School is a Catholic school. St. Paul, our motto is, everything we do, we do with heart. Sometimes, dear friends, the language that comes out of our mouth, I hope and pray it doesn't reflect what's really happening inside our hearts. Walking through the hallways during period changes is sometimes very, very uh, troubling. The language that I hear and that other teachers have heard and have commented to me about is language that doesn't belong in this school. In particular, I'd like to talk to you about the use of the F word. Now there are F words that you can use in this school Food, fun, friends, finny, Friday. But there's one F word that absolutely has no place in this school. You won't have to use your imagination to know the one I'm talking about. That word, when it is uttered out of one's mouth, and I would admit that probably most of the time it is used, that, that there's no thought going into the use of that word. It's just coming out, it's being spewed. When that word is used in the school, that's akin to someone throwing up in the hallway in our school. The word isn't neutral and the word doesn't disappear. The word, word leaves a permanent mark in the hallways and in the ears and in the minds and the hearts of other people who hear it. If that word is being used consciously, if the person who uses that word really means to use it, I think we have to pray for that person. That word is so disgusting and so vulgar that if it really reflects what's going on in the heart of the person who says it, my God, I feel so sorry. The language we use says so much about who we are. Please, words like the F word, and we could make a list on the blackboard, I'm sure, of other words that are used, they do not belong in this loving community. They're words of violence and they're words of contempt. Please, I don't want you to feel bad. That's not what we're about here. I don't want you to feel guilty. We love you even if those words slip out but please, don't let those words slip out. I don't, uh, I hope you hear this message. I really hope that we can uh, work to make this problem, a problem that's in our culture, disappear within the school property and within these school walls. We're sacred, created in God's image. Let's love each other. And let's be careful the way we talk to each other. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And St. Paul, please pray for us. With the students going to Dr. Simone's, please meet me in the cafeteria now. And would Larissa Rhoda please come to the cafeteria as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.
five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, St. Paul. Here is your morning news. To all those interested in having the driver's ed course here at St. Paul, the deadline to bring in your forms and money is this coming Wednesday. Spots will be made available on a first-come, first-served basis. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Guillermo in room 124 immediately after the announcement. There will be a mandatory student council meeting on Tuesday, October 21st in room 234. All members must attend. Talent night auditions continue again after school today in the music room. Please be on time and ready to perform. Good morning, St. Paul, and here is your sports. Members of the senior boys volleyball team are to be dismissed at 145 for their tournament tournament at St. Joe's. Players are to come down to the gym, get changed, and be ready by two. Attention to all boys basketball players. The final tryout is today after school. The final roster will be posted on the morning of Monday, October 20th. Good luck to all those who have made it thus far. That's all the news for today. Now back to Shreen. Are you feeling drained with all the schoolwork you have to do? Then Student Council has the answer. The St. Paul Fall Ball Dance is happening on Friday, October 24th from 7.30 to 11 p.m. Buy a ticket and dance the night away with your friends. Tickets will be sold during 3A and 3C lunches for $10. There will be great prizes like movie passes and mall gift cards given away, but you have to buy a ticket. All prizes will be given away that night. If you want to request a song, visit clubcat.com and make your requests online. Come out and have fun. We hope to see you there. That's all the news for today, St. Paul. The song of the day is Love Bug by the Jonas Brothers, and have a good weekend. Now I'm speechless, over the edge, I'm just breathless.